So welcome everybody to an exploration of bullet hell games, uh, a gaming genre that will consume your heart and soul if you open yourself to it. Uh, I started playing bullet hell games like a year and a half ago and I really fell in love with them. And I even feel that they kind of reignited a kind of spark that I had maybe lost a little for gaming. And I feel like they could do the same for others too. But of course the problem is that these games are kind of difficult to get into. Not only are they challenging, they're also kind of niche, so there's not that many people talking about them. And uh, although there is a lot of really useful information you can find on the internet, on YouTube, uh, as a total beginner it may be kind of difficult to know which of that stuff is relevant to you and how to even get started. So I thought maybe I could try doing a kind of a fun, relaxed, conversational series on how to get started in bullet hell games. Two things before we get into the good stuff. Number one, uh, I have never made YouTube videos before, so please bear with me. I'll try to learn and improve as I go on. And number two, I'm going to get into the juicy gameplay stuff, of course, but I also want to talk about kind of the mental side of playing these games, because uh, sometimes I feel like that's even more interesting than the actual games themselves, like the emotions that we go through, the journey that we undertake when we try to clear a game. So I'll be sharing some of my personal stories of playing these games and stuff, so just something to bear in mind. So my first piece of advice would be to take it slow and take it chill. Now, what do I mean by this? I think a common reaction to trying a bullet hell game for the first time is that it seems absolutely ridiculous. I mean, it looks really cool with those, those bullet patterns and stuff, but then you try it for yourself and then you die immediately and it's like, what even is this game? It's like, how could anyone ever play this? And then you get frustrated and then you quit, right? So the way I got into bullet hell was I was playing some more like old school shmups like Gradius. Uh, and I was just searching for more games to play and people kept recommending cave games and I was like, okay, sure, I'll download Dodonpachi on my computer and try it out. And uh, I did that and the game seemed <laughs> ridiculous, also kind of cool in some sense, so I just left it installed on my PC and I would be like working and I was like, hey, I'm going to take a small break and I would just play Dodonpachi for like 10 minutes or 15 minutes, maybe get past level 1 or something, then die, then just laugh at how absurd the game seemed, then just stop and then maybe in a couple of days I would play again for like 15 minutes. And then slowly, like bit by bit, I kind of started to get into the game and then I would like start reading up on stuff and watching videos on YouTube and then Gradually, I got to grips with the game. Now, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're already playing some kind of other games. So, what I would suggest is keep playing those games, but also have a bullet hell game installed on your PC or console or whatever. And just keep coming back to it every once in a while. Just like play for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And once it gets like too overwhelming, just leave the game be and maybe come back to it in a couple of days and start afresh because the thing is, like these games don't have tutorials, they don't have a, like a ramp up, it's just like you start the game and blam, it's like everything is happening all at once. So you have to give yourself time to get accustomed to these games. So if you're new to these games, just keep in mind that they are not impossible and you definitely don't suck. Uh, it's completely normal to not know what you're doing when you're just starting out. So give yourself time. Uh, play in short bursts and enjoy the journey because it's going to take you to some wild places, just trust me. So thanks for watching everybody and please let me know if there are specific topics that you would like me to discuss in the future. And next time we'll be talking about what's the best way or at least the most fun way to actually practice and learn these games. So see ya!